In Sporting News Today, Oscar Pistorius to compete at the Olympic Games, Steve Nash presents his new team, Maria De Velotta's tragic accident, Devin Ebanks causes a rift between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, and Breno to serve hard time. It's Oscar Pistorius' dream come true. The South African who runs with prosthetic legs made out of carbon fiber has qualified for the 400 meters and 4x400 meters relay in London, a first for a Paralympic athlete, just one year after competing at the World Athletics Championships alongside able-bodied athletes. Today is truly one of the proudest days of my life, Pistorius said after the official announcement. Born without fibula, Oscar's legs were amputated below the knee when he was just 11 months old. He fought hard to make his his dream of competing alongside able-bodied athletes a reality. It was a long and difficult struggle, but Pistorius is no quitter. I think it is a bit of pressure for me. I'm obviously aware of it, um, but you know I've always been in the sport not to prove a point or to uh, to achieve goals for you know anybody else. My goals are to do as well as I can do in my own sport because I want to achieve and I want to look back at my career one day and know that I did the best that I possibly can. And um, I'll be very happy with my performances if I do able to qualify for if I am able to qualify for the London Olympics this year. Um, but either way, you know, if I know that I've done the best that I possibly can do, I'll be very happy with that. Steve Nash presents his new team, but maybe not the one you were expecting. His current club, the Phoenix Suns, has just come to an agreement with the Los Angeles Lakers. The 38-year-old double MVP will be playing with the Lakers next season. But it isn't his future teammates that Nash introduces to us in this commercial. You know, I'm tired of people always saying, I don't have time to eat healthy. Well, guess what, buddy? You're on Team Liquid time now. Bah! Check out my team. From down under, Tora Bright. <laughs> Three Olympic gold medals, turned pro at 14. Suzanne Pedersen, born in Norway. Number two ranked women's golfer in the world. She's a really good golfer for a girl. And last, but definitely not least, we have the baby face Matt Ryan. Quarterback for Atlanta, third pick in the draft, rookie of the year. So as you can see, at Liquid Nutrition, we're good to go. Spain has been shocked by a tragic incident. Formula One driver Maria de Villota was involved in a serious accident during a test drive at Duxford Airfield Circuit in England. In only her first outing in the MR01, the Marussia driver suddenly accelerated as she was making her way back to the garage, crashing into a nearby stationary support truck. The Spaniard sustained severe injuries to the head and face, which result in the loss of her right eye. Spanish stars from the world of sport have taken to the social networks to send messages of support. F1 world champion Fernando Alonso tweeted, want to give you all the energy in the world, while tennis champion Rafael Nadal wished her a speedy recovery. Kim Kardashian always had a soft spot for athletes, and it looks as though she still does. The problem is that the reality TV star has been dating rapper Kanye West for the past few months. According to American website Ken Eats Barbie, all is not rosy between Kim and Kanye. The rapper reportedly caught his girlfriend sending racy text messages to an NBA player. The man in question is Devin e. Banks, a little-known player who played with the Los Angeles Lakers last year. It wouldn't be the first time that Kim shows interest in a relatively unknown NBA player. We all remember her blink and you miss it marriage to Chris Humphreys, which turned the b-ball player into a star overnight. Life with Kim is never dull. Chad Ochocinco is a footballer with a big heart as his recent adventures on a major social networking site show. After inviting 200 of his fans to a fast food joint at the spur of the moment, the Miami Dolphins player has once more displayed his generosity and genuine interest in his fans. While preparing to wed his girlfriend Evelyn Lozada, he took some time out to read some fan mail. Among it was a moving tweet from one of his fans, saying that she was feeling pretty downcast that day because she just lost her husband of 30 years. The star's response was pretty unexpected. He invited her to his wedding that very night, and with his signature humor, he signed off urging her to bring her smile, dancing shoes, and appetite. A great story, but we've come to expect such things from Chad. Three years and nine months behind bars, Munich prosecutors finally weighed in on Breno's case. 
Bayern's former Brazilian defender was accused of deliberately setting his house on fire last year to get his insurance premium. The rising Brazilian football star left his home country in 2008 to join the Bavarian club. But he was totally absent last season. He even received a warning from Bayern president Karl-Heinz Rummenigge for his behavior and his contract was consequently not renewed. During his trial, a psychiatrist declared that Breno drank up to a bottle of whiskey a day before the blaze. Looks like the 22-year-old footballer's career has gone up in smoke.